We go where the fear is. At the end of the day, what this world needs is people who are unique. Anything, absolutely anything, is possible. Tucked within the message of this old letter written in 1965 is a short string of words. This little piece of advice, casually offered within the surrounding statements, holds powerful meaning. It was Saul Lewitt, an American artist, who wrote this letter to his close best friend Emma Hess, who was struggling with self-doubt. In the letter, he urged her to stop worrying and doubting. He advised her simply stop it, take action. Additionally, he said, I hope we can all listen the way we need to. If you're afraid, use it to help you. Such advice resonates deeply, doesn't it? How else can we overcome what Ralph Waldo Emerson described as the biggest obstacle for many fear? Because it's undoubtedly real, and avoiding it doesn't work. Fear exists for valid reasons, and sometimes for no reason at all. So it's important to use fear to help you grow, rather than letting it stop you. Should we wait passively, hoping for opportunities to come to us? Or should we boldly approach those opportunities, even if we're scared of what might happen? Do we dare to face our fears? Fear is often misunderstood. While some say to fear nothing, in reality, it's not that simple. Fear usually gives us two choices, run away or move forward. Our inner voices often tell us we're not good enough, you can't talk in front of people. They're all judging you. You're not as good as them. You're not qualified for that job. Someone else will get it. You're not a leader. Yes, we should face our fears. Why? Because our dreams are important and can come true. Fear is real, but it's not as bad as we imagine. Let's not listen to those negative thoughts. As the old letter suggests, let's stop overthinking and just do something. If you're afraid, use that fear to help you. Be honest with yourself. Accept fear and then move forward. Think about Adele, who's scared of performing, or Richard Branson, who's afraid of public speaking. Even Jennifer Aniston is scared of flying, but their fears haven't stopped them from being successful. Imagine if they had let fear control them. What if you focused on the advice from that 1965 letter for your next steps? If you're scared, use that fear to help you. Don't ignore it. Embrace it, question it, and then move forward. You can do it. This story will help you understand how to overcome fear with bestsolution.so. Let's dive into the story. Once upon a time in a charming hamlet nestled in the heart of a lush valley, there dwelled a youthful and curious lad named Tiki. Tiki was famed for his daring spirit, constantly yearning to venture into uncharted territories and face trials head on. He was always the first to explore new paths winding through the forests, and the bravest when it came to tackling the steepest cliffs that overlooked the village. However, amidst his adventurous pursuits, Tikchi found himself grappling with a formidable obstacle fear. This fear, like an invisible chain, seemed to tighten around his heart whenever he encountered the unfamiliar or stumbled upon challenges along his path. It was a constant companion, whispering doubts and uncertainties in his ear, threatening to hold him back from fully embracing the adventures that awaited beyond the village borders. Despite his courage and determination, Takeshi knew that he needed to confront this fear head-on if he ever hoped to unlock the true extent of his potential and embark on the most daring adventures of his life. Motivated by a strong determination to confront his fears directly, Takeshi embarked on a quest to find the guidance of a well-known Zen master residing atop a nearby mountain. Intrigued by the stories circulating about the master's deep wisdom and understanding, Takeshi felt drawn to seek out this wise teacher in hopes of unraveling the secrets of his own inner struggles. With every step of his journey, Takeshi's resolve grew stronger, fueled by the belief that the master held the solution to unlocking his true potential. As he journeyed forward, Takeshi brimmed with excitement, eager to learn the valuable lessons that awaited him on his path to self-discovery. After an exhausting journey upwards, Takeshi finally arrived at the summit where the Zen master lived. The master, an elderly individual emanating a sense of calmness with a gentle smile on his face, opened the door of his simple dwelling and welcomed Takeshi inside. The atmosphere was peaceful, and Takeshi immediately felt a sense of serenity wash over him as he stepped into the modest abode of the wise master. I come seeking your enlightenment, Master Takeshi uttered, his voice tinged with a hint of trepidation. I yearn to transcend my fears and discover the courage to face the unknown. With a mixture of anticipation and anxiety swirling within him, 
Tixi expressed his heartfelt desire to learn from the Zen master's teachings, hoping to find the strength and clarity needed to navigate the challenges that lay ahead. The master nodded knowingly, gesturing for Takeshi to take a seat beside him. Fear, my young student, is a natural part of life he started. It's not something to defeat, but rather to understand. Now please tell me, what makes you afraid? Takeshi hesitated for a moment before replying, I'm scared of what I don't know, master. I'm afraid of failing and being judged by others. I worry about losing the things that are important to me. The master listened closely, his eyes filled with understanding. Fear comes from holding on to what we think should happen and what others expect, he explained. To overcome fear, we must learn to let go of trying to control everything. Confused, Takeshi asked the master for more guidance. But how do you let go of these attachments, he wondered. Isn't it normal to have dreams and goals? A soft smile appeared on the master's face as he responded, Yes, it's normal to have dreams and goals. But it's holding on to them too tightly that makes us afraid. When we let go of our strong desires, we free ourselves from fear's grasp. Takeshi thought deeply about the master's words, slowly understanding their deep meaning. So Master Takeshi asked, how do you actually let go? The master's eyes shone with wisdom. Letting go requires trust, my dear student, he said. Trust yourself, trust life's path, and trust that everything happens as it should. Embrace the here and now and go with life's flow. As Takeshi absorbed the master's lessons, he felt a newfound clarity and determination rising within him. He realized that overcoming fear wasn't about fighting it, but rather about accepting it and finding inner strength. The tale teaches us that fear, though inevitable, shouldn't act as a barrier to our ambitions or exploration of new possibilities. Rather than engaging in a futile struggle against fear, it's more fruitful to delve into its roots and transcend its influence. By releasing our tight grip on specific outcomes and cultivating trust in our abilities and the natural course of life, we empower ourselves to confront our fears head on and stride boldly into the unknown, fueled by our inner conviction. Confronting our fears unlocks dormant talents and strengths we never knew we possessed. It initiates a transformative journey where we explore the depths of our being, unraveling layers of self-awareness and understanding. As we navigate through the challenges fear presents, we learn valuable lessons about resilience, courage, and perseverance. Each step forward brings us closer to realizing our full potential and embracing the boundless opportunities that await us on our path of growth and self-realization. Please consider liking and subscribing to our channel story path for more mindful content. Thank you for joining us on this path towards inner harmony. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more thought-provoking content ahead and please share to one you love in your life.